Guys, I've just received an awesome package in the post. It is a brand new PSA return, and today we're going to take a look at everything that's inside and see what grades we get. So let's get into it. So here we go, guys, a brand new stack of PSA slabs. Now, I do want to quickly say that these were actually sent in from my friend Nort. He, like a few other people in 2022, has actually used me as a middleman for PSA. So if you guys are interested in that, feel free to drop me an email, info at pokedean.com. And uh, he sent off a load of cards which have a lot of Charizards in. So we're just going to jump straight into it today and see what we have for the first card. Card. now off the bat the centering on this looks really decent to be fair um so we're gonna flip it over oh we have a shiny greninja from hidden fates one of my favorite modern sets um and this is a really cool card because uh, i love shiny greninja let's see what grade we get from the front it looks pretty decent to be fair i can't see much wrong with this and there we go. We get our first 10 in our first card. Very, very cool. Nor is going to definitely be happy with that one. Shiny Greninja is a very, very cool Pokemon. Okay, up next, we have this card once again. The centering's looking really, really good. Can't see much wrong with it. So we're going to flip it over. Oh, we have the Ho-Oh up next from Hidden Fates as well. Um, top five cards for me from the set. And once again, this doesn't look too bad. So let's have a look and see what it is. Another gem at mint 10. Like I said, I couldn't see anything wrong with it. The centering looks really, really good. Other than the surface, which when sometimes there may be like a little scratch or a chip, it's quite hard to tell. So we're going mainly off of surface like this. Uh, not surface, centering. This looks off centered. If I'm being totally honest, as you can see, the left is a lot thicker than the right. So let's flip this over. Oh, we have a Charizard and Brexen from uh, Cosmic Eclipse. Really cool tag team card right here. And let's see what the grade is. Oh, an eight. Okay. Now, interesting that this is an eight. Maybe the centering is just too off for it to even get a nine. I mean, looking at the corners, the corners look decent. So it's interesting to see what the difference between an eight and a nine is. Can the centering put it that far into uh, like an eight? So very interesting with that one. All right, moving on to the next card. Let's have a look and see what we have. Okay, we have a base set Charizard. Now, I do remember Nort purchased this, and he knows that it wasn't in the most perfect condition. Um, it's quite hard to show on the um, the camera, but there is actually a mark there on the card, um, and there is scratches on the surface. I can see on the hollow there's actually scratches. Let's have a look at the back again. And then, obviously, there's a bit of damage at the top there. So, yeah, this isn't probably going to get the highest of grades, but it's still going to be interesting to see what we get. And for a base set Charizard, Nort gets a four okay so that means that there is probably a crease somewhere um probably one of the corners if i'm t if i'm being totally honest i mean look there is quite a lot of damage in those corners right there but still very very iconic card my favorite card of all time um and Nort's gonna be happy to get that encased um i'm sure so moving on to the next card another card if i'm looking straight off is a little bit noticeably off centered this left side again is thicker than the right so let's flip this over. We have a Mega Lopunny and Jigglypuff Rainbow Rare from Cosmic Eclipse. That's a really cool card, that is. I actually really like that. Okay, let's see what we get. A nine. So I'm guessing the centering is what took this off. Even on the front, this right side is thicker than the left side. You can look at this corner here. The borders are a different um, size and, like I said, very noticeable on the back right there. So I think that one's um, justified to get a nine. Okay, moving on to this one. Not as bad as the one before. I feel like this side's a little bit thicker than the left, but it could slip through. Okay, we have a Jirachi or a Shining Jirachi from Shining Legends, a really, really cool um, ho holiday set, which is really cool. You can get the, uh, the Mew Tube um, and Shining Mew as well. Shining Mew, it's a really cool card. Right, okay, let's see what we get. Gem Mint 10. I actually believe Nort got another one in a 10 not too long ago in a recent submission. So um, Nort now has two, which is pretty decent. Congrats to you, my friend. All right, moving on to the next card. Similar centering to the uh, the Jirachi there. And we have the Gold Mewtwo V-Star from Pokemon Go. One of my favorite cards from the set. It's maybe better than the alt art. Let me know if you guys agree in the comment section. But anyway, let's see what we get. A 10. That's a big card. That's a really, really big card. And can you guys believe that PSA are on 70 million certs now? It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I I'm, I'm remember when I first started collecting, I think it was either in the 20 million or 40 million. It's been crazy in the last two years. But anyway, beautiful, beautiful card right there in the Mewtwo V-Star. Right, uh, let's have a look at the centering on this. Pretty good by the looks of it. Bit of corner damage in that bottom right there. So that will be interesting to see what marks it down if it does. We have the T7 Typhlosion from Neo Genesis and a big, 
big fat swirl in that top right corner there. That looks awesome. And we get a PSA 7. That's pretty decent. Really cool card. Really, really cool card. Now, I do believe that Nor actually cracked this out of a case. So, interesting to see um, that it was able to get PSA 7. Okay, up next, we have another card. Um, and once again, centering on this looks pretty decent, to be fair. Can't see too much wrong with it. Let's flip it over. And we have an Alakazam from a Legendary Collection, which was kind of regarded as base set three. You guys don't know what uh, Legendary Collection is. It's the set that has the like fireworks, reverse hollows, which are incredible. People didn't actually like them at the time. But um, yeah, you can tell by the badge here. It has, uh, that's Legendary Collection. But anyway, Alakazam Hollow from Legendary Collection gets a PSA 8. I'm guessing there's some print lines or scratches on the side surface because centering wise it isn't that bad the bottoms may be a tiny bit thicker than the top but it's not that noticeable so psa 8 pretty decent for um an iconic set such as legendary collection myself chloe and matt actually opened up a box in 2022 which was incredible never thought i'd be doing that but anyway up next we have a dragonite v star um this is the rainbow rare from pokemon go secret rare let's see what this gets a nine okay I mean, centering wise, that doesn't look too bad. I'm guessing it's a bit top, uh, maybe top and left is thinner than the right side. And then the bottom, sorry, is thinner than the top. So maybe that's what's marked it down there. Still a very cool card. Nevertheless, let's see. I'm pretty sure there's some more Charizards in this uh, submission. Let's have a quick look at the uh, centering on this. Decent. I'd say if I'm being hypercritical, top may be a tiny bit thicker than the bottom, but not by much. Oh, okay. We need this in a big, big, big grade right now. Radiant Charizard from Pokemon Go. Shiny as well. It's so, so sick. I love this card. I personally have one in a PSA 10. Very happy with. Um, let's see if Nort can follow suit and twin. And he does. We get the PSA 10. Let's go. I know Nort's going to be really happy with that one. Uh, PSA 10 Charizard or Radiant Charizard from Pokemon Go. Very, very, very cool. Okay, moving on to the next card. Centering's not too bad. This looks a bit of an older card, to be fair. Let's have a look. I actually don't know what this is. Okay, it's not. It's actually a Celebrations base set Charizard. Um, this was actually the hardest card for me to pull. I needed one more card to complete my 25th anniversary Master Set, and it was this card right here, but I did manage to do it in the end. Um, and let's see what this gets. A PSA 10. That is big. That is very, very big. Hopefully, I have the prices up on the uh, screen for you guys. But yeah, this is a really, really good card to get in a PSA 10. Nort's going to be absolutely buzzing with that one. Okay, next one. Let's see what we get here. Oh, I'm seeing some whitening on the right side and that corner as well. So that is going to knock it down a little bit. Let's have a look. Oh, Dark Charizard Hollow from Team Rocket. Look at the hollow pattern on that, guys. So beautiful. So beautiful. Very, very, very cool. Okay, let's see what we get. I'm not predicting it's going to get a 10. I'd even probably say it might get a 7. Let's see six it got a six okay it was a little bit damaged like i said uh maybe there's some surface uh scr oh i think i saw a scratch there yeah i don't know i don't know if you can see like here looks like there's a scratch on the uh, surface there as well so psa six not too bad an iconic card and one just to be great to have in a slab to be fair so i know Nort's gonna be happy about it. i'm pretty sure he cross graded that as well he actually cracked it out of a slab um so very cool all right we have two cards left people um, and we have, let's have a look at this one. Back looks decent. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Oh, actually, no, it's pretty good. It's actually pretty good. So let's flip this over. Oh my goodness. I just went straight for the grade. And it's a PSA 9 Blaine's Charizard from Gym Challenge. My favorite set out of the two Gym series. Gym Challenge, Blaine's Charizard, one of my favorite Charizard as well. This is so sick. And I know that actually, Nort cracked this out of an ace slab. So that's pretty crazy to get it into a PSA 9. I think it did better than it, what, it, what the slab was in the Ace case. But yeah, still very, very cool card and absolutely awesome to get in a PSA 9. So close to getting a 10. I'm guessing that it may have a print line or something that might have knocked it down. So very, very cool for that one. And then, guys, the final card of today. Centering looks good. Yeah, looks actually really decent, to be fair. Let's have a quick look at it like that. All right, let's not reveal the grade. Ooh, okay. This is a big card. Shiny Charizard V Max from Shining Fates. The best card in the set. Look how epic this card looks, guys. It's absolutely phenomenal. Not best of luck, my friend. Can you get a PSA 10? You know what? I'm going to sprinkle some Pokedean Spice. I know we do it in the pack openings, but let's just hope it helps for PSA returns as well. Your final card is... Oh, yo! PSA 10! Shiny Charizard from Shiny Face. That is absolutely awesome. Guys, that's going to wrap up the video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. Check out some of my previous videos right here. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.